Okay, today due to popular request, I'm going to be putting ice cream in my vacuum chamber. So I've had a lot of requests to do this for a long time, so I thought I might as well do it. So first thing before I put it in, I wanted to point out that this is ice cream. If you notice on a lot of uh, cheaper ice creams, they don't actually say ice cream. They say dairy dessert, and that's by design. The rule is to be labeled ice cream, it must contain at least 10% milk fat and no more than 50% air. So some ice creams can contain up to 50% air. So you're only buying about half of the weight of this. And another rule to call it ice cream, it has to weigh around 4.5 pounds per gallon. So this is a gallon, it definitely weighs more than 4.5 pounds, it's called ice cream. So if companies make ice cream with too much air or not enough dairy fat in it, they have to call it dairy dessert. But they still want it to be creamy, so they put other weird ingredients in it to make it still feel and taste like ice cream. They'll put different gums in it like xanthan gum or locust bean gum and it gives it the same kind of mouth feel as milk fat in ice cream. But nothing but the best for you guys, so I got Neapolitan ice cream for you, a party pill. Okay, so I'm not sure how much this will expand. Even though it has a lot of air in it, it's pretty solid, so I'm not sure how much it will actually puff up, so let's see. Let's get this in here. Okay, Neapolitan ice cream in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Oh, around the edges where it melted, it's already puffing up a lot. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> it's rising up! Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow! Okay, that did a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> Ice cream is mostly air. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> it's taking over the whole chamber. Oh no, I think I'm sucking up ice cream. <laughs> I better stop it. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Look how much it puffed up. So the, the outer edges were melted and you saw those spill over, but the inside wasn't. Let's put the air back in. Three, two, one. Okay. Look at that yummy goodness. Okay, so how about we take out a little scoop of this so we have more room in the vacuum chamber, see if we can suck all the air out of it, and then see if we can get some more creamy, smooth ice cream. Okay, let's get me some ice cream here. A more manageable amount. I guess I went overboard with the gallon. Okay, now a more healthy serving of ice cream in the vacuum chamber. Okay, three, two, one. simple recommendation is if you're on a diet and you still want a full bowl of ice cream just fill it about halfway full then put it in a vacuum chamber it will eventually puff up to fill the whole bowl and then eat it while you're in a vacuum I guess
Okay, I think we might have some boiling ice cream going on on the bottom now. So we're at our maximum vacuum, definitely low enough to boil water. And apparently low enough to boil ice cream too. <laughs> so this is probably boiling. It could just be the dissolved air in the ice cream coming out, but I didn't see it until it got down to a very low pressure, so it likely has a little bit of boiling and dissolved air coming out of it. Okay, it's been in here about 15 minutes now. Why don't we let the air back in and see what the ice cream looks like. Okay, three, two, one. So it's mostly melted ice cream. Use my gigantic spoon to take a bite. Doesn't taste that much different. Looks like the ice cream kind of stayed puffed even when I let the air back in. Yeah, it tastes like there's even more air in it. Very light. You'll notice it melted a lot. Most likely it's from my bright lights that I have shining on there. So even though the vacuum doesn't transfer a lot of heat, I have bright lights shining and it's absorbing a lot of radiation from the lights. So there you go, ice cream in a vacuum chamber. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. Next time you're wondering if you should pick up some ice cream or not, just tell yourself it's about half air anyways. So if you have any questions about this video or any other video you've seen, or if you have any suggestions for me to do in a future video, let me know in the comments section. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out, and I'll see you next time.